Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic and OKKFNX2020 here. Welcome to another video. We're going to do more of my Let's Play of Jeopardy for the Wii. And this is game number 25. So we're going to see how we do. So let's just get ready. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. <laughs> also, before I start, um, um, I just want to tell all, you know, I'm going to be getting another Leapster cartridge from eBay. Um, it's going to be on, you know, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. It was a request, it was requested by two YouTubers, Joy Galler and, um, there's another YouTuber. I can't, I can't remember the other one, but, um, I'll be showing you after I'm done this game, and I will show you the YouTubers that requested me to get that Lisa cartridge. Anyway, let's go. Hey, Johnny, thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Here we go into the Jeopardy round. All right, what are the six categories? And we start the Jeopardy round categories with this one. It happened on it Halloween. It happened on Halloween. Brit speak. Brit speak. Manimal. Manimal. TV nostalgia. Te TV nostalgia. Which time zone? Which time zone and, and literary, literary geography. geography. Player right. one, where do we start? How about TV nostalgia for 600? The 1973 TV season gave us Richard Roundtree as this super cool private eye he played on film. Uh, and from now on, for some of these I don't know, I'll be waiting for someone to answer. Unless if I go first, it's going to happen right now. Yes, player one. Uh, Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction shaft. on the plus control. <laughs> That's correct. Yep, shaft was the answer. Player one, back to you. How about Brit speak for 200? Fancy a cuppa, love? Cuppa is a cup of this. A cup of tea. Okay, player one. You are correct. I love British people, you know. Player one, pick again. Literary geography for 800. In chapter five of The Sun Also Rises, horse chestnut trees are in bloom in this city's Luxembourg Gardens. I'm going to wait for someone to answer. Unless if I'm going to answer it, if no one answers. Oh, there we go. It's player three. Ah. Right you are. Okay, the answer was Paris. Please pick again, player three. Manimal for 200. In a Rudyard Kipling story, one of these animals saves a family from a deadly cobra. Don't know that one. We're going to wait for someone to answer this. Or not. Let's hear it, player one. So, uh, I think, uh, a mongoose. Yeah, good. Okay, there we go. I got that one. You get to pick again. How about, one. uh, it happened on Halloween for 600. 1956. The Brits and the French invade Egypt in response to the nationalization of this. Gonna have to wait for someone to answer on this one, because I don't understand. It's player three. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have... Oh, frick. I shouldn't have waited. Choose again. Player three. It happened on Halloween for 200. 1926. There's no escape for this magician who dies following a rupture of his appendix. Wait, wait. I know this one. Let's hear it, player one. It's Houdini. Harry Houdini. Yes. Such an easy one. I've heard of Harry Houdini. Player one, cause... back to you for our yeah. next selection. All right. Which time zone for 600? Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Isn't that in like the yes, southern time one. zone? You know, like, uh, probably central. Sorry, that's wrong. Guess not. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Man, I might need to know a lot of these. Like, this is very hard. The correct response is the mountain. The mountain? The New, New Mexico is in the mountain Maryland. time zone? I don't get it. Uh, how about Brit speak for 600? While Americans put gas in their cars, the British put in this six-letter equivalent. Wait, wait, what? Uh, I don't understand that one. Uh, I'm gonna have to try it, though, because I... Okay, layer one. Uh, petrol. Correct. Okay, got that right. Um... Player one, you pick again, please. TV nostalgia for 200. In an animated 1987 TV special, this space age family traveled back Wait. in time to meet the Flintstones. I know this one. Jetsons. 
The Player Jet one. Sims. Yeah. Yep. I've heard that name before. I know that. I, I know Player that one. name. I've heard of it on one of those VHSs. All right. How about Manimal for six hundred? The three animals on Ontario Canada's coat of arms. The one that fits the category. Uh, I don't know. It's player two. That's right. Way to go. That'll be Jeffy saying if you know what I mean. Player two. Back to you for our next TV selection. nostalgia for four hundred. For this sixty sitcom, Jed and Jethro first meet Mr. Drysdale uh, when he comes to get them me. out of jail. I don't know if I'm gonna know any of this. Like this is pretty hard. Okay, player three. <laughs> The Beverly Hillbillies. Haven't I heard of that name before? I forgot, I'm sorry. According to his theme song, Mr. This will never speak unless he has something Wait, to say. Wait, I know this one. Let's Mr. Hear Ed. Mr. Ed. You know, that, that horse. You get to pick again, player Literary one. geography for 200. In chapter 8 of this novel, Atlanta is very exhilarating. And temporarily, even better than Tara. I'm gonna have to wait for this. Cause, uh... Well, I guess not. Yes, player one. Uh... Gone with the wind? Right. Alright, got that right. Um... Player one, pick again. It happened on Halloween for 800. This man's body is removed from Lenin's tomb. Oh my god, I do not know this one. But I'm gonna have to try anyway. Player one? Uh. Joseph Stalin? Right. Oh wow, I'm getting these correct. Player one, you pick again, please. Manimal for 400. A rhesus or a macaque? Rhesus or macaque? I don't know, but I'll have to try. Okay, player one. Uh, a mandrill? No, right. I guess not. Any other takers? Wait, maybe it's a monkey. Is it a monkey? I think it is. Alex? Here's what we were looking for. A monkey. I was correct. It was a monkey. You again, player one. How about... How about which time zone for 200? Vancouver, British Columbia. Canada. Layer 1? Wait, no. Uh, mountain, because Vancouver is mountain. Oh, sorry. Dude, it's correct. This is stupid. How is it not mountain? Vancouver is mountain. Pacific. I don't get that one. Select again. Which time zone for 400? Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Uh. It's player one. Oh my gosh. Uh. I think central because it's in the center. Right. There we go. Please pick again, player one. How about Brit speak for 400? This brand name has become a noun. And a verb for vacuum. I'll try to take a look at the yes, at the choices. One. Hoover. Hey, you're right. There we go, Hoover. We return to you, player one. Literary geography for six hundred. And prejudice, Mrs. Bennett says the country is a vast deal pleasanter than this city. Uh, excuse me. Oh my goodness, I do not know this one. But I'm got to try anyway. Let's hear it, player one. How about uh? I say London. That is correct. Okay, I got four thousand so far. Player one, back. To How you. about uh? TV nostalgia for In a thousand. In the fifties, this movie Tarzan was still hanging out with a chimp, but he wore more than a loincloth as TV's Jungle Jim. I'm gonna have to wait for someone to answer. It's player two. No, no not that one. Any other? Sorry, changes? Katie. That's that's incorrect. Well, now's a chance for me to try now. Yes, player one. Not Ron Eli. 
butt is a Johnny Weissmuller. Correct. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Layer one. How about Brits beat for 800? Electrical outlet sounds like a presentations program from Microsoft. Wait, I know that one. PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> so easy. I've heard of PowerPoint. Choose again, player. Literary one. geography for 400. In the preface to the Moonstone, Vishnu commands three Brahmins in this country to guard the title gem night and day. I'm going to have to wait for someone to answer on this one, too, because I don't understand this one. On second thought, it's going to take a little long, okay, so I'm going to try doing one. it anyway. Uh, India. That's it. Festival of Lights. Layer one, you pick again. Manimal the 300. The species of this tropical flyer is known for its brilliant plumage and strong voice. Uh, I don't know. I'll try, though. Yes, player one. How about... Macaw? Good for you. Got 7,000. Player one, back to Which you. Which time zone, Reno, Nevada? Reno, Nevada. I think there was a family in that before. Player three. You know, that... The McKinney family? Yes. And Super Nanny? Wait, the Pacific was in there? Pick again. In Nevada? Player three. All right, which time zone? 4,000. Ohio. Akron, Ohio. I'll go for it. Okay, player one. Uh, I think Central. Nope. Uh, guess not. Anyone else? Maybe Mountain, but I'm not really sure. This is pretty hard. Uh, okay, it's pretty hard. I, I don't understand this. Let's hear it, player three. Oh, oh. It's not. It's Anyone not else want to hazard a guess on this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's player two. Eastern? That is correct. Ohio's in money Eastern? Again. You again, me? player two. Literary geography for it's thousands. the first river mentioned in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I think I'll try to go for it, actually. Player one. I think it's the Hudson River. Correct. Back to 7,000. We return to you, player We're speaking for 1,000. Holy crap, I got it. The Daily Double. Yeah. It's the Daily Double. You are currently in the lead. 3,000. Player 1. Answer. As they have a tendency to burst open in the frying pan, sausages are popularly called these. They're called bangers. That puts you even further in. Now I'm up to 10,000. Layer one. It happened on Halloween for a thousand. This Mideast nation announces it will no longer cooperate with UN weapons inspectors. Oh crap. Okay. I'm sorry, one. I did not mean to do that. Okay, uh It was Iran. Sorry, that's No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? This is why I did not even get a chance it's to do player it. Two. Uh. I guess the answer was Iraq else? or Iraq. Yes, player three. Yep, Good. it was Iraq or Iraq, whatever you want to say. You it. get to pick again, player three. It happened on Halloween for 400. 1846, heavy snowfall traps this carnivorous party in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Okay. Wait, oh, frick. Let's hear it, player one. I forgot again. Oh, my gosh. The Donner Party. Yes. Okay, I got that. And now the thousand. The animal four thousand. We're sure you'll just love on Dr. Zabethicus, this rodent. Okay, I'm gonna wait this time, like always, because I forgot the previous two times I was supposed to wait. But you know what? Forget it. I'm not waiting anymore. Okay, player one. Uh, how about? Is it a mouse? Sorry. Wait, it's a muskrat. Any other take? I forgot it was a muskrat. I don't know why I keep forgetting. Yes, it's just player three. what is wrong with me? Oh, sorry. It's a muskrat. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it, player two. Yep, you are out of the hole. Wait, I forgot I was supposed to take care of something on my phone. I'll continue recording after this.
Okay, so we're finally back. Whoo! All right, let's continue. Player two, you're going first in double jeopardy. So yeah, I had. I had to take care of something on my phone first, but anyway, we're finally ready to continue on. Categories for the double jeopardy round are conductor, conductors, L to pay, L to pay, get positive, get positive, sports Joes, sports Joes, geology, geology, and and Latin American, American history. history. Hey, it's still anyone's game, and player two, you get to select first. Get positive for four hundred. Done. Applies the positive techniques well used done. at this marine park to business and family life. I've never heard of whale done. I, I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Player two. Marine land. No, that's not right. No, not marine land. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? I'm going to try to go for it now, so. It's player one. Looks like that worked out, so. It's SeaWorld. Good. There we go. See, I got it, folks. Select again. Geology for this 1200. This rock can be formed by the accumulation of shells or coral, but not from citrus fruit. If no one's going to try them, Let's I'm, I'm going to be the one. only one to try them. Limestone. That's correct. Now I'm up to $10,000. Layer one. Pick Latin American history the for 800. Century, this civilization city of Tikal in the Yucatan had a population of tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm answering. Yes. No one's one. going to answer. I'm going to try to do it anyway. Is it Inca? No. Nope. Uh, is it Maya or Aztec? I. I mean, I've learned about these before, but haven't I've not heard about these in a long, long time. Like, it's been years. Here's the response we were looking for. The Mayan. Oh, the Mayan. Oh, frick. Choose again, player one. Conductors for 800. Marin Alsop made Muse in 2005 as the first one of these to lead a major American symphony orchestra. Okay, I don't really think I've heard anything about this, so... I am probably going to need to let someone that, you know, I'm, I'm answering anyway. Player one? I mean, I was around in 2005, but, um, uh, I think a woman. Good for you. Oh, good, I'm correct. Oh, my goodness, yes. You get to pick again, player one. How about L to pay for 1,200? Affectionate name for critters of the genus Agapornis. Genus Agapornis? I'm going to try. Okay, layer one. Lovebirds. That's right. Way to go. Okay, I got that correct. Um, Select again. How about Sports Joes for 800? Richard Nixon's enemies list included Jane Fonda and this New York Jets quarterback. Oh, gosh. I do not know this one. But I'm going to try to go for it anyway. It's layer one. Uh... Joe Montana. Sorry. What? It's not Joe Montana? Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? I don't get it. What is it anyway, Alex? Here's the correct response. Joe Namath. Joe Namath? There is no E in Namath. It's pronounced Namath. All right. Get positive for 1600. An illustrated book pairs Alexander Calder's artwork with the lyrics to his song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Wait, wait, I know this, I know this, Player I one. know this. Bobby McFerrin. Right. Bobby McFerrin did that song. I and remember it. Player one. All right. How about, how about geology for 400? The Mercalli scale measures the intensity of these from one to 12. 1 to 12. Uh, I'm going to let someone answer this for me. It's player 3. Hurricanes. Oh. Not hurricanes. I'm sorry. Any other takers? I'm going to answer now. Okay. Player 1. Tsunamis. That's not it. Anyone else? Then I guess the answer must be earthquakes. I mean... 
Yes, player two. I remember back in 2011 when I was nine, there was a hurricane back in August. I I don't know why, back to but you for our yeah. Next selection. I don't know in how concert, that happened. Stokowski would dramatically toss these aside to show that he could conduct from memory. Let's hope I never get a hurricane in my place again. Let's hear it, player one. Batons. No. But that's what you do. You 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 throw you throw your baton. Taken? That's what you do. Man, this is stupid to say it's not okay. baton. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? My it's gosh. Two. Scores. Right. You can't throw scores. You can only throw batons. Back to you. Latin American history for 400. In 1565, Portuguese knight Estácio de Sá founded this Brazilian city on Guanabara Bay. Uh. Layer one. Oh frick! I was supposed to wait. Rio de Janeiro. That's it. At least I got it right. We return to you, player one. Sports Joe's for 1200. Okay, another daily double for me, folks. Answer. The first of the daily doubles. And you're in the lead now. I'll do 5,000. 5,000. Answer this. In 1973, George Foreman grilled this smoking guy, knocking him down six times in two rounds. Joe Lewis? However, you uh, keep your I guess lead. not. Here's what we wanted. Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier? You again, player one. Frazier spelled with an S, not a Z. Conductors for... Wait, no. We're going to do... Get positive for 800. Thriving through stress, like him conducting Ode to Joy while ill, is the idea in a book called The Hymn Factor. I have heard of Ode to Joy, but... Who... Who did that? I don't... Let's hear it, player one. I think Beethoven did that. You got it. We return to you, player one. L to pay for 400. It shouldn't take much effort to tell me this. Gordon Brown's political party. Yes, player one. Liberal. Nope. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? I don't really know if I waited long enough. I think I did, but I'm not sure. Here's the correct response. Labor. Oh, labor. Oh, frick. Layer one, back to you for our next selection. How about conductors for 1200? Wilhelm Mengelberg and Edward Van Bynum have been chief conductors of this city's Concertgebouw. Let's hear it, player one. Um, how about... Wait, no, I didn't... Oh, uh, no. I was supposed to click Amsterdam, but Anyone I clicked have? on Brussels. What have I done to myself? It's all my fault. It's player three. No, sorry. It's all my fault Anyone for clicking on Brussels. I was supposed to click Amsterdam, but I accidentally clicked Brussels. Yes, player two. Uh, what is wrong with me today? Right. Player two, back to you. Conductors for 1600. An 1831 play by Pushkin recounts an alleged rivalry between Mozart and this composer. Okay, player two. Mm. Excuse me. Antonio who? I can't pronounce that second word. Player two. You pick again, please. Conductors for 2,000. On CDs with Canada's National Arts Center Orchestra, Pinkus Zuckerman conducts and plays this. Player three? Uh, oh. Excuse me. It's not piano. Any other takers? I'm glad he got it wrong, but anyway. Let's hear it, player one. Bassoon. No, that's not right. 
Wait, maybe it, wait, Anyone else it's actually, to try to come up with a correct response? it's actually violin. Yes, player two. My, uh, yeah. Yes. You get to pick again, player two. Oh. L to pay for 800. Take this section of fishing line where the hook is attached. I don't want to tell all of you that, you know, my 11-year-old brother from the channel, all the happy fives, okay, he plays three. the violin. All right. Right you are. Select again. L to pay for 1600. Most lower back pain is uh, in the area of the five me. vertebrae classified as these. Man, I really got to know some of this stuff. I, I don't really understand any of this. Player two. Right. Yeah! Lumbar. Please pick again, player. She is two. twice my score. Bath L sponge, to pay for two thousand. Type of tropical gourd. Man, I don't know if I'm ever gonna win this. Like, there's something going yes, on. Player two. A loofa. Correct. Player two, pick again. Get positive for twelve hundred. His power of positive thinking begins. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Who said that? I I wonder who said that. Yes, player three. Norman Vincent Peel. Choose again, player three. Sports Joe's for 400. In a nice two-year run, he married Marilyn in 1954 and was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 55. Wasn't the last name like Monroe or something? I think it was, but I'm going to try. Player one? Joe DiMaggio. That is correct. Okay, I got that right. You again, player one. How about geology for Here's 1600? from our clue crew with the clue. Made from minerals deposited by dripping water, these geological formations grow up from cavern floors. Uh, how the, oh my goodness. I'll try to go for it. It's player one. Stalactites? Oh. What? It's not stalactites? Stupid. Man, I need help on this. I cannot be left myself I cannot be left by myself doing this. Seriously, I need help. We're talking about stalagmites. Oh stal oh stalagmites. Please I keep forgetting. Game, Latin American history for 1200. Pedro de Valdivia, a soldier of this Inca conqueror, found the city of Santiago in Chile. Oh, I'll try to answer. Let's hear it, player one. Um, Vasco Nones de Baboa. No, that's not right. Anyone else want to this is why I need help. I cannot be left doing this myself. Like, I always keep getting wrong answers. Like, can someone give me help? The correct response is uh, Francisco excuse Pizarro. Me. Francisco Pizarro? Player one, you pick again. All right, please. get positive for 2,000. Oprah has unlocked the This, a book by Rhonda Byrne about using positive visualization. I am not sure if I'm gonna win this, folks. I, I I am not sure. Like I'm having, okay, I'm having, three. I'm having lots of trouble. Secret. Yeah. And you're back into some money. We return. Now I'm in last. Three. Sports in Joe's for sixteen hundred. Blisters. This outfielder played in his stocking feet. Oh man, I don't know if I'm ever gonna win this. It's player one. Isn't that Joe Jackson or something? Right. Oh, good, it is. Oh, thank Layer you. One, pick again. Latin American history In December for 2000. 1980, a junta appointed Jose Napoleon Duarte president of this small Central American country. Why did you pronounce it junta? It's pronounced junta, not junta. But I'm going to try. Yes, player one. El Salvador. That's it. All right, I'm doing it. Really catching up, Layer folks. One, back to you. Geology for 800. Geysers aren't common. Major centers include Yellowstone, Iceland, and this country's North Island. I'm going to try. 
Layer one. New Zealand. <laughs> we already had Iceland in the question, so it's not Iceland as the answer, though. How about geology for 2000? Holy crap, I got the daily double again. Yeah. The second daily double. You're in second I'm going to go with 3000 this time. You need to select your wager and the daily double clue. A six mile wide caldera or volcanic crater is a highlight of La Palma in this Spanish island group off Africa. Oh my gosh. Uh, Canaries? Good. Okay, dang it right. Okay. You get to pick again. Latin American history for 1600. The physician and patron of voodoo was elected president of Haiti, which he ruled with an iron fist for 14 years. Just hope I can win this. Like, I'm starting to catch up now, so I think things will be going better. Okay, player one. Uh, well, that's hard. How about this one? I can't pronounce it, but I hope I got it right. Okay, it looks like I got it right. Ten thousand four hundred dollars. And the two thousand. Sports Joe's for two thousand. In 1950, he became an assistant coach for Penn State football. In '66, he took over as head coach. Oh boy, I do not know this one, but I'm going to try to go for it. Let's hear it, player one. Oh my, uh, Joe Gibbs. That's not it. It's not Joe Gibbs. Any other take? Then who was it? I don't. Who the heck was it? I don't know who that guy was. Like I might need help on this stuff next time. Man, just tell me, Alex. Tell me. Here's what we were looking for. Joe Paterno. Joe Paterno. Who the heck is he? Congratulations to all of you. Who the, You'll be who the heck is Joe Paterno? When we come back. Well, at least I'm still getting ready for Final now, Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy coming right up right now with this category. Midwest Topography. And Midwest Topography. You need to select your region. Uh, I'm going to go with 2,500. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. The Final Jeopardy clue is... This state has the largest sand dunes complex in the United States, just north of a river named for its flatness. Oh my goodness. This one's gonna be hard. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with... Uh, Oklahoma. I don't know if that's right, but we'll see. What did you say? And Nebraska? And? Nebraska was the correct answer? Dumb butt. It's not Nebraska. And your response? Sorry, oh. that incorrect response will drop your score by... This is stupid. So, so stupid. What did you put as your response? I don't know why they got it right. And this correct response will add how much to your score? I don't get how she... Well, maybe next time I should win, but... You've come out ahead well, as our champion. Player at two. least I won, so that's good. Well, not really. I actually got in second, but... Second wow. place is fine, so that's good. Anyway, that will be it for Game 25 and my Let's Play of Jeopardy for the week. Stay tuned next Thursday for Game 26. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic and OKKFNX2020 OK signing off. Have a great time. Peace.